up, y'all? Welcome back to Geeked Up. My name is Craig. Um, if you can do me a favor, please like and subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get right into it. So next year, I guess DC coming with that heat. They're going to they gonna come with some bangers in 2023, and I'm actually excited. Um, they're actually going to be coming out with four different films. Um, they seem like they about to be straight. They about to be cool. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to tell you what they are. So kicking it off, we got Shazam! Fury of the Gods, which is coming out March 17th of 2023. Uh, and actually, Shazam! Is, is really Captain Marvel. You know what I'm saying? It's really Captain Marvel. But I, I'm excited to, to, to see this new movie coming out with young Billy Batson. That's actually one of my favorite characters in the uh, DC Comics uh, also. Because the dude is just like crazy strong. Like for real, for real. The dude, the dude, the, the dude beyond one. Um, what I kind of, but the only thing you know, I can say is like, from what I heard from the plot though, I'm, I'm not really too moved or something. Like, I was like, um, you know, it seemed like it was a, a little bit weak, but you know, like I said, we. At least we get a Shazam movie. I guess it's going to be something to where, like, he got to travel and meet the guys. Because I think since, like, he split his powers up with his siblings, that they think that uh, the guys think that they uh, using his, you know, using their powers, you know, I guess in a frivolous way or just taking them for granted or something like that. So he got to do something to meet them, impress them, and then fight with these uh, chicks who's like the main villains, basically. And, you know, it, it just seemed like it's, it seemed like they could have did better. But like I said, this might actually turn out to be an awesome movie because I enjoyed the first one. You know, with Dr. Savannah as the bad guy, I really enjoyed this one. So, um, you know, I, I do got my hopes up for this one because, you know, Shazam, Captain Marvel, he really that dude. So I, I, I am excited about it. Um, so tell me what y'all think, you know, what you think about the new Shazam movie coming out of Are you excited about it? Is, are you just like, man, you know, are you moved some type of way? Just, uh, let me know. The second one we got is the Flash movie that's coming out June 23rd in 2023. Now this one right here, this gonna be that smoke. They coming with it on this one, like for real. They coming with it. Um, and they said that it'll be like a Justice League type of movie. You see what I'm saying? So it might have a lot of action in it, and this might be what we need right here. Um, but the actor Ezra Miller, man, he on one. Straight up, man. Something wrong with dude. Like for real. He like he just gone crazy. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this man. But you know, I, I just hope that the movie don't get canceled. You know, since we in so much of a cancel culture and they already got talks of like certain stuff that I'm hearing, but I, I really want to see this movie and supposedly he gonna like just travel to the multiverse. There's gonna be a lot of cameos from different heroes. Uh, also, uh, Michael Keaton Batman is making a return. Like for real, this is gonna be good. This, this gonna be some pressure coming out and it already screen tested to be incredible. So you already know this one about to be good. And they sitting up there, you know, if dude just ain't sit up there on that uh, fool gazy, you know, he out there tripping, acting a fool, making himself look bad, making DC uh, over there look bad. So if they share up this movie, I'm gonna be hot, but that's all right. Um, also, if y'all remember from the Man of Steel movie, boy, uh, the first one, I think his name was uh, Michael Shannon. He's the guy that played General Zod, you know. And I thought he did a good job playing General Zod. But anyway, he gonna make a return. Him and uh, the female, uh, I forget I forget the actress name, but uh, she played uh, Feyora. She is like Zod's right hand person. You see what I'm saying? Uh, she was the one that said, a worthy death is a worthy death is its own reward. 
You see what I'm saying? She was, she was, she was decent, and I, I, I liked her a lot in there. So we gonna see what's up with it. Um, like I said, let me know what y'all think about that. Um, I'm mostly excited to see Michael Keaton reprise his role as the as 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 Batman. Uh, he is arguably probably one of the probably the best Batman. You know, everybody got their own opinions of which Batman is the is is the best but Michael Keaton you know he really he really did his thing when it came to that role for the first Batman and Batman Returns so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what what's up with that and like I said that's that's popping off next year June 23rd so like I said this this is probably what I'm mostly excited about this movie right here so you you know the ones that I'm about to name off this one right here is what's gonna get it bracket like straight up this is gonna be cold blooded so I'm I'm very excited. I'm geeked up about the Flash movie. Real geeked up. So you know we're gonna see. Let me know what y'all think though. You know, leave a comment below. Uh the next one that's coming out is actually the Blue Beetle movie. And that's coming out August 18th of 2023. You know, that's around my birthday, uh, also. So you know. Um this movie looks promising. You know, I, um, this movie looks promising. Of course, it's going to be the newest version of the Blue Beetle, which is uh, Jaime Reyes. And Jaime Reyes, his Blue Beetle uh, works like an a, a, a alien scarab. It's like a device that's attached to him, and it put an armor around him. So if y'all remember uh, Guyver from back in the day, the movie Guyver or the, the old, old anime Guyver, I wonder if it's gonna be something like that. Uh, they need to remake the Guyver also. That'd be cold blooded. But uh, Blue Beetle, it looks it looks promising. Um, I heard the the plot that uh, one of the villains, uh, I think, is Ted Cord's wife. Uh, but in the comic books, Ted Cord was uh, the Blue Beetle before Jaime Reyes. But uh, Ted Core did not use the alien. He had his own. He was rich and had his own. Te he Ted Core is like Batman, basically. You know, he's like a a, a very smart uh, genius type guy, and um, he fights crime. Uh, so I would actually would have liked to see a Ted Core Ted Core Blue Beetle movie. That would be awesome to watch. That'd be awesome to see. Uh, I would love to see that in. I guess how they doing a plot that uh, Ted Cord's wife is actually the villain. So I'm assuming Ted Cord is actually deceased uh, in this movie. Uh, I think he died in the comic books also. But, you know, only time will tell. Only time will tell. But, you know, this movie looks promising. I've seen how his costume looks, and it looks awesome. I've seen the Blue Beetle. I said, Phew. that's cold right there. They, they, they doing their thing right there. So I'm glad that they're coming out with some uh, promising uh, movies uh, to give us next year. And uh, Blue Beetle, I'm, I'm excited about that one. I might put that uh, in, my, in my second choice for movies that I definitely want to see. Yeah, that I definitely want to see. It would definitely be that, uh, that Blue Beetle movie. So I'm excited about that. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? And the last one that they got coming out is actually coming out on Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, and that's going to be Aquaman The Last Kingdom. And like I said, that's coming out December 25th of 2023. Uh, and I guess uh, Black Manta and Ocean Master will be in it. Ocean Master was his brother. And I think the, the plot or the synopsis is something that's going on. To where he gonna have to team up with his brother to get to get everything back straight, to get everything back right. So he got to team up with his brother to help out, uh, to uh, probably help save Atlantis and to uh, you know help save the uh, the world as well. Um, uh, I look forward to seeing this movie. It's been delayed a lot. That and the Flash movie has uh, been delayed. Aquaman and Flash has been delayed. Like and it's like really getting annoying but they just keep on pushing this stuff back and you know but um 
what I'm excited about this movie is I want to see Black Manta. I want to see how his suit gets upgraded. I want to see what new technology he has, you know, to to uh, to put that pressure on Aquaman and them. I want to see what he do. I want to see his weapon upgrades. So uh, we shall soon see. But like I said, we got to be patient. We we got just a little bit over a year before that movie come out because that, that don't come all the way to Christmas. I can't wait. For real, I'm, I'm too impatient when it comes to stuff like that. That movie need to come out right now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that's that's basically it for the movies. Y'all let me know which ones y'all most excited about. Um, I'm going to put Flash at the top of my list. Um... I'm gonna throw Blue Beetle in there for the simple fact it's a it's a new new movie and we haven't seen no type of Blue Beetle uh, in movie form yet. So I look forward to see Jaime Reyes as the Blue Beetle. The third one I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I want to see Young Billy Batson back at it. Shout out to Young Billy Batson. Uh, and then we gonna see uh, what Arthur Curry talking about in Aquaman: The Last Kingdom, which come out you know uh, on Christmas. So. Um, that's how I feel about it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. You know, what are, you know, just tell me y'all thoughts on this. Um, leave a comment, you know, like always. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate y'all. All right, man.